Oh, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the Chan Chan. I just got back from my 10 mile run. For those of you guys that don't know, this month I'm doing 10 miles a day and 20 miles, well, 10 miles running, 20 miles on the bike. I may take Sundays off. I'm not really trying to prove anything anymore by doing extreme exercise every single day. Um, but anyways, today is a what you would call brick day, so multiple sessions in one day. For those of you guys that didn't know what that term meant, sometimes I call it a block day. I really don't even think it matters. But anyways, today's a brick day, so I'm gonna share the run portion with you, and I'm gonna talk about that, talk about like aerobic endurance runs, and then also gonna be doing the bike portion, talk a little bit about that, and then I may go over my pre-run ritual in regards to stretch, talk about diet a little bit, Kind of just like to catch you guys up on what I've been up to, how my training's looking, and what I got going on. So, enjoy the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. Alrighty. Got a long run right now. 10 miles. Should be a good one. Aerobic endurance run. Oh man. It's gonna increase my lactate threshold. These long aerobic efforts are super good for not only building endurance, but it's actually gonna help with your speed. So incorporate eight, 10 mile runs into your training program. Still taking about an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, you. I just had this thought, like, I'm running right now and I honestly don't really feel like it. It's just one of those days, but think about how much of our lives is centered around not wanting to do something. I don't want to work. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to work on my relationship, whatever it is. You can find like a discipline in your life. For me, it's running or it's something that you don't want to do, but you continue to practice every day. Think about how much better you're going to be at doing other things in life, whether it's work, relationships, whatever that is. So find something that you don't want to do and do it anyways. It'll make you better. All right, that's all. Oh, and that made me think. Someone's like, you know, people are like, I don't want to do this. I just want it to be better. Well, the only way you're going to get better if you actually work and do it when it's tough and when you don't want to. Okay, now I'm done. Solid run. Still doing eggs and egg whites now, and still doing the oatmeal with fruit. On days that I, on days that I train harder, like today, I have a 10 mile run, or I had a 10 mile run, and I have a 20 mile bike ride, so I'll probably want, I'm just gonna need more calories. I'm burning like 43 to 4,600 a day, so I'm trying to get a good amount of fuel in the morning, and that's why I did four eggs and four egg whites. Hey. Very happy. I've never been so glad. I've been really into vintage t-shirts lately and um, there's this place in Encinitas that I go to called Flashbacks. Bought a vintage shirt there, obviously vintage, when I was with my sister. Um, and then I went back yesterday and I got two more. This one says, get real. 
And then on the back it says girls can play hockey too. I don't even know what that means, but I just thought it was cool. That's vintage. Okay. <coughs> Jesus. A little too much <coughs> salt. My biggest tip or piece of advice or whatever, the most important thing to pay attention to when you are training really hard is make sure you're getting enough protein because especially on these long days where you're going to be running, lifting, biking, swimming, whatever it is, you need to get protein. You don't want to start to burn or break down muscle. When you're burning that many calories, your body needs fuel. So don't think that, oh, I'm going to go run 10 miles and then bike 20 and then I'm going to like get lean or lose weight. It just doesn't work like that. Pay attention to the healthy deficit if you guys are trying to get lean, which I wouldn't even recommend 10 mile days and 20 mile bike rides if you're trying to get lean. I would honestly just say hit workouts. Someone actually asked me that. But anyways, get your protein in. Okay. 50 minutes into this bike ride. Whoa. miles of biking a day, 10 miles of running a day, which really good for your aerobic endurance. If I choose to do this Ironman coming up in October on the 30th, this is great training. So I'm going to do a month of this then wanting to log more miles on the bike. I feel like this is a good way to do it. So it'll be a total of 600 miles in a month, which in reality isn't that much. Some people do like 50 a day, but with the 300 miles of running in that month, it'll be, it'll be perfect. Yesterday's bike ride, I carried a heart rate of 152 average. Today's probably going to be more around 125, 130, more of an easy to low aerobic pace. For some reason, the bike ride always seems like longer for me than the run, even though the run takes me like an hour and 10 to an hour and 20 minutes. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I'm on a trainer, it's just kind of boring. Well, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to Chan Chan and I will see you guys on Sunday. No, I won't. I'll see you on Thursday. Peace.